Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper, with a really cool device today that I have to show you. It's a thermal camera from Thermal Master. And it's tiny. It's really tiny. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because, of course, uh, thermal cameras can be used and are often used for electronics to uh, troubleshoot circuit boards and see which components are overheating. So for that, it's extremely good, but, and that's reason alone <laughs> to show this device on this channel, but it also has actually prepping purposes. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into that. You draw your own conclusions. Uh, it's very easy to imagine what you can do with a device like this and the advantages that it brings you. Now, it also has actually a macro lens so this is the uh, the way you use the camera it's just amazing guys and and i'll show you the picture it's actually very clear and you can also have very close um, close-ups basically on single components that you can see and see the temperature it's amazing it has a temperature range it has two temperature ranges one from minus 20 to 150 degrees Celsius, and the other one is up to 600 degrees Celsius, so even melting lead, it's going to show it. As you can see here, of course, it has a USB-C connector, so this plugs in your phone, actually, and your phone will give it the power, compatible with, uh, actually, with uh, Android and iOS. It also is compatible with a PC, so you can plug that in to your PC. Of course, you have to download the uh, correct application. You have a QR code in the manual, which allows you to download the app uh, for your phone or for your computer. The definition is 256 by 192 pixels. And, you know, for a thermal camera, that's pretty good. Now, I was at first, when I first saw it, I was a little concerned because I was like, well, there is no focusing ring, you know, and I did review a camera before that had a focusing ring, but it doesn't seem to have any bearing on the image and it ve the images are very good quality and they're all in focus. So no problem on that end. And, and it's again, it's just, <laughs> it's just ridiculously small. Now, of course, uh, I can't show you the app on the phone because I'm filming with my phone. So... <laughs> But uh, you'll see the images and that's what matters. The, the app is very easy to install and very easy to use. You also get a USB cable that allows you to uh, deport the camera. So have it, you know, further away from your phone. And I'm even thinking, you know, I could put that camera in front of my uh, motorcycle and have the, have the cable run to my phone, which is on the handlebars. And I would have a thermal night vision system, you know, in the fog or whatever at night or, you know, I could basic, I would have basically a uh, night vision on my, on my bike. Now, of course, that wouldn't work uh, inside a car because of the, the glass in the windshield, but yeah, on a bike or, you know, just, uh, I don't know, in the woods, you know, trying to find someone or whatever. You know, you could see a rabbit <laughs> hiding in a bush, you know. And if you're hungry, <laughs> that can make a whole lot of difference for you. Florida Ford, Italy, Yoko, Ama, Tokyo. Roger, Roger, my name is the Christopher, my name is the Christopher. I am on the beach from the beach in the south front. Florida Ford, Italy, Yoko, Ama, Tokyo. Florida Ford, Italy, Yokohama, Tokyo. T'as la poubelle, hein, pas trop loin Ah bah je l'ai mise déjà dans la poubelle. Bah la poubelle est là-bas. Hein. Bah attends, attends, attends. Oh non, 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 mais... Non mais attends, non, non, mais attends. Non, non, il va pas. Euh, euh... Il regarde, bouge pas. Il va faire le choix. Il va pas nous caler. La saleté sur la... La tâche wow. a disparu comme ça. On a joué un utile à la grève. So you saw how great the picture is, and, and I'm just not saying that you know because they sent it to me and I get to keep it. Okay, 
If it was bad, trust me, I would say so. Uh, but it, it just works really, really well. Um, now, I'm certainly going to keep it, that's for sure. Sometimes I just resell stuff or I, uh, you know, give it to friends. Uh, this one is going to stay with me. <laughs> Here, for instance, you can see my computer and you can see exactly <laughs> where the power supply is inside the computer. The macro lens is magnetic, so it sticks on the front of the camera and you can see here a close-up of the uh, USB connector. You can see it's heating up a bit, but you can see it's really hot inside the computer. It's a little harder to focus, but once you have the right distance, uh, you can see very, very close. And of course, uh, you can see my hand. Anything that produces heat, anything that's alive, you're going to see it. It's going to pop up like crazy. Now, often those uh, cameras, uh, thermal cameras, can cost uh, a pretty penny. I've seen uh, other models, uh, you know, anywhere from uh, $350, $400. But, well, thanks to Black Friday, <laughs> you can get a big discount. And even without the discount, it's, it's, it's really, you know, it's pretty much worth it. Uh, you can actually get a discount code on Amazon.com and also on AliExpress. Also on the, of course, uh, thermalmaster.com website. Now, the coupon for that is thermalp2. I'll put it right here on the screen. And uh, you can uh, get it for actually as low, I think, as, uh, well, I think it's 265 or even 259 on the website. That's in dollars. So uh, check it out. 265, I think, it is in euros on, on Amazon. Anyway, prices much lower than usual. So it's valid until uh, December the 2nd, so you have time. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to show it to you. Uh, and, and not just for electronics, like I say, it, it has other applications, which can give you a big advantage in many circumstances, you know, to see at night, to see in the fog, to see through smoke. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a big thing. It, it can really make a difference. And of course, you know, building kits, anyone who builds kits or troubleshoots electronics, you can actually see uh, overheating components and that can just make things much easier to troubleshoot. You know, uh, it's you don't have to go and touch with your finger until you get burned. And of course, touching, you create all kind of capacitive uh, effects and uh, there, just with the camera, you can just see it on the screen, you can record the image, you can take photos. Uh, it's just absolutely uh, uh, extremely useful. All right, I know this sounds like a commercial. <laughs> and in a way, it somewhat is. I mean, uh, of course, I get to keep the device. So, uh, you know, I wasn't going to say no. I'm like, I want it. <laughs> so don't blame me. <laughs> uh, but... I have no qualms about showing it because uh, because of the usefulness, of course, and um, it's just tiny. It's nine grams, guy. The weight of it is nine grams, <laughs> which is, I don't know, it's insane. Uh, I don't know how to do it, but, um, and, and the macro lens uh, allows you to get really, really, really close-up shots and uh, on, on tiny components, and that's a very important thing. Uh, you can also, uh, you've seen, use it on cables to see if your cables and connectors are overheating. You can use it on uh, toroids, uh, balloons, ununs, uh, chokes, you know, see if they can take the power that you're putting into them. And uh, sometimes you just don't know, you know, unless you put your hand on it. And that's not always the safe thing to do. So having a thermal camera uh, in that case uh, will just basically you can see it with your own eyes. I'm going to use it uh, for my motorcycle also because I can uh, I can actually look at the engine. I can see if it's overheating. Uh, I can see if there are any oil leaks. Um, I can look at the brakes, uh, to see if the brakes are overheating. And know what are the hot points, the the exhaust, uh, everything. I mean, it's just uh, there are so many things that you you you're not thinking of that you can do with uh, something like that. All right, I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make it any longer. You guys got the point. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I received another uh, thermal camera that I'm going to review a little bit later as well. And uh, <laughs> I hope you're not going to get tired of those things. But uh, uh, that's that's going to be it, I think. Um, I'm not going to take any more because, uh, of course, uh, yeah, I mean, once you've... There's not much extra that I can say, you know, except compare the, you know, comment on the quality and if, if the device works properly. Uh, which, in this case, uh, both uh, thumbs up for Thermal Master. And Dan, I look pretty scary, thermally speaking. <laughs> Whoa, here it is without my glasses. Uh, lots of heat in the eyes region and close to the face here, the blood vessels probably very close to the face here. Until next time, have a good one.